guys it's anna welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're not new to my channel hi beautiful people how are you today i'm doing pretty grand i actually filmed this video last night and ran up out of storage on my phone so here we are filming it all over again my legs just got really sore so i have all my squishmallows here with me today i know it seems like a lot but it felt like the only decoration i had so you're gonna have to live with it so Today we're gonna to be talking about Danielle Cohen. If you don't know who Danielle Cohen is, she's a TikTok influencer, this is a Diet Coke. She's a TikTok influencer who started her career pretty young and has had a lot of controversies behind her. But the biggest controversy is her age, of course. So if you don't know Danielle Cohen, she was born on March 7th, 2006. However, her mother, Jennifer Archambault, and her brother, Chad Cohen, Archambault both allege that she was born in 2004 so, so she's two years two years older than she actually is that's what they allege she was born to Dustin Cohn as well who has spoken out about the situation stating that he doesn't agree with the mother's choices however he was not involved in Danielle's life from a young age so Jennifer Archambault was a single mother who raised uh, Chad and Danielle on her own. She had multiple jobs and in the beginning they lived in a single one bedroom apartment where Chad would live at, sleep in the living room and then Danielle and Jennifer would sleep in the bedroom. By the way, Chad is currently 19 years old. He was born on June 2026, 2002. The reason we actually know about Jennifer and Danielle's old living situation was because of a friend named Virginia. We're gonna talk about Virginia a lot today. Virginia is a family friend, has known them for a very long time. Danielle originally was born in Orlando, Florida, and they lived in Orlando, Florida most of their life. It kind of explains why the family is so obsessed with Disney and traveling to Disney plans currently. It's because they grew up in that environment. Now let's get into Danielle Cohn's career because her career is, I think, what most people are fascinated on. From a very young age, Danielle Cohn was enrolled in beauty pageants. Jennifer decided that she wanted her daughter to be famous from a very young age. This is alleged, of course. And so she enrolled her in beauty pageant and encouraged her to perform, be an actress, sing, dance, and learn all those skills. And by 2016, 2017, Danielle started posting musicallys, and they started doing really, really well. One of them did so well that brand deals started coming in, and this is when Jennifer quit her job, and they decided to move out to LA. Specifically, a brand deal with Target is what broke the ice with her, and this is what caused them to say, hey, this is pretty lucrative. And this is when Danielle started paying for everything. And so this was in 2016, 2017. Danielle was 10 years old, 9, 10 years old. She was very, very young, and suddenly she had an entire family on her back. And her mother was her manager and encouraged this. We're going to talk about her mother more in depth later, but this is just like the career path that she's currently in. Because her career started earning her a ton of money, they started homeschooling her as well. And now one of the issues with the homeschooling was Danielle started not doing her own homework and her mom and her brother started doing her homework for her. It became such a big issue that Danielle started having to do her homework on camera in front of the teacher because they knew she was cheating. Danielle Cohen is an interesting child and a lot of people have spoken about the relationships she's had throughout her career. More specifically, the fact that these relationships were with her at a very young age and the guys at an older age. So let's run through some of the relationships and talk about their ages, what year they were born, and how old Danielle was when they were dating. So the first one was in 2016, and these are all the public relationships, so if I miss any, it's because they weren't either publicized or I just missed it. The first one was Nelson Aguilar. He was born November 14th, 2002, and he was 14 years old when they were dating. Danny was 10, four years apart. They said she was 12, but they were actually 10 and 14. I'm not going to talk about her alleged age, just add two to every time I say something. Then we jump into 2016, she dated two guys. One of them, I couldn't find their age because he wasn't really a social media personality. He was, uh, he's Richard Ortiz, so I don't know his age, but it's assumed that he's around the same age as the second guy who was Jaden Price, who was born September 4th, 2004. So in this time period, Danny is, Danny is still 10 and JP or Jaden Price is 14 years so old. So again, a four year age gap and the mom encourages these relationships so we'll get into the behavior with the mom and the guys in a little bit but 
I just want you to note that the mom was a-okay with these relationships and in fact encouraged these relationships. Then we jump into 2017. There are four guys in this time period. The first one is Owen Bodnar. He was born July 29th, 2003. This means that Danny was 11 and he was 14. This is the least, this one and the next one are the two that are not the worst ones, um, that are the, the best ones in quotation marks. Then we have Case Walker, who was born February 25th, 2003. He was 14 and Danny was 11. We jump into Cole Galati, still in 2017, was born March 8th, 2001. Danny was 11 and he was 16. Five year age gap. Absolutely ridiculous. Then we have Sebastian Topite, which everyone considers the worst relationship because of the age gap. He was born December 5th, 2000. She was 11 years old and he was 17 going on 18. And the worst part with this relationship is it's not even better when you add on the two years onto Danny. So Danny would have been 13 quotation marks and he was 17. That's still four years apart and not a normal age gap at all. In 2018, we have the most infamous relationship and the most publicized relationship. They dated for a very long time and the age gap is still not much better. It was Mikey Tua who was born June 2012, 2002. June 12, 2002. I don't know if I said that wrong. And Danny was 12 years old and he was 16 at the time however it gets worse so they did it for so long um they did for a year and then she dated ethan fair who was born december 22nd 2003 danny was 13 going on 14 and he was 16 years old now this relationship is the relationship in which danny had the and it was a very difficult time period ethan fair left her or not care for her but we're going to talk about the also in a little bit then she dated mikey too again he was born june 2012 2002 again danny was 14 at the time and he was 18 and yes he did know her age we'll get that in a little bit and in 2021 the current relationship she's currently dating a guy named mason patterson he was born december 17 2002 and he was he's 19 currently and danny is 15 which okay so Let's talk about the cases. So Sebastian Topite, they dated for around a month and it was a very publicized relationship. In this relationship, they made TikTok videos, they made musicals, whatever it was at the time, and they engaged in a really, really public relationship. Even if she was 13 at the time, it would have still been an illegal relationship and the mother encouraged it. Jen is allegedly a type of mother that purchases things, things for the men and many of the men have come out and stated this. He, she allegedly encourages them to have a bedroom and stay in their separate place but we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to mikey tua when sebastian and danny broke up it was very publicized very over the internet and he went on to youtube and made a youtube video exposing her real age and he said that he didn't know her real age which wasn't any better he was dating like a 13 year old and said that uh they he was lied to the entire relationship and that she wasn't like open about it the worst part about this is they were active he knew better like even if she was 13 like still absolutely disgusting till still gross i call out that dude and i will forever call out that dude because you believed that she was only born in 2000 you believed she was only four years younger than you but that was still an illegal four year difference you shouldn't have been in a relationship with her ever but let's move on to mikey tua the most publicized relationship so the reason why people are talking about danny again and her age again is because of mikey tua going on a podcast with his mom the podcast is called dropouts it's indiana's podcast and it's episode number 73 they talk about the dark secrets of la and mostly they talk about danny and her family so on the podcast mikey went on with his mom katie tua and they talk about the entire relationship with danny so they talk about the relationship from start to end they talk about how they got together which they were both social media influencers and then they talk about throughout the time how the relationship became more abusive in the sense that he was bought he was manipulated and he didn't find out about her age until he ran away from home so let's talk about the reason why he ran away from home when he was dating danny 
he would always stay at her place and they started doing his homework similar with how they did with Danny so that he would spend more time with Danny. He was encouraged by Jen, Danny's mom, to go in the other room, make tapes so that they could become the next Kardashians. That's one of Jen's biggest dreams that her daughter becomes a Kardashian. And they were in the other room talking and they would get their homework done for them. They got the master bedroom. She gets all all expenses paid for the, them as a relationship. Well, one day he came home and his mom like said, we need to, you need to focus on school and get some schoolwork done yourself. And he said, no, I just want to do the social media thing. And she was like, well, if you want to do that, you can leave home. And he did. And his mom didn't mean it in a serious way. She thought he'd walk around the neighborhood and come back, which is pretty common for kids at that age. He was 16, 17. And he actually called Danny and his mom were picked up by them and she basically encouraged and helped him pay for trying to get emancipation and paid lawyers like 10 grand and was encouraged by this other mother to not do the right thing but rather run away from his problems which that's not the right thing to do and virginia who was the family friend called them out on it and said hey you can't do this this little boy's missing like his, his mom is missing her little boy like you can't and she said i will do whatever i want for my daughter allegedly so they talk about this and while this is all happening danny's paternal grandmother which is her dad's mom who has also spoken out about the situation calls katie to us uh, and says your son is dating a 12 year old he is 16 and he's dating a 12 year old and this is when she got sent over the birth certificate and it was proven to be true that she was 12 and she sent it to Mikey and Mikey was on live when this happened and he literally like hides the, gets off the live and talks to Danny and Danny admits to him that it's true that she's not the age she's been telling him he will ended up getting arrested that night getting put in a holding cell and his parents picked him up and they still had their differences and he continued to date Danny after this situation which I personally don't agree with and many others don't agree with either but when you're getting everything bought for you and you have your life is an all expense life and you're thriving on social media it's not understandable but I understand what he is thinking if that makes any sense I wouldn't have done the same but you know, I'm not in his footsteps. Let's talk about Ethan Fair and the situation with the I want to make it clear that this girl should not be hated on because she got, I believe, in the right to choose and she had the right to choose that and there should be no judgment on that fact. It's what I want to talk about more is how this came to light. So if you didn't know, Danny has tattoos all over her body, which is illegal for her even for the alleged age that they state it's completely illegal but danny currently has a ton of tattoos she started getting tattoos on january 9th 2020 she got a wave that she still has on her ribs and an infinity symbol on one of her fingers now she has tattoos on both of her arms on the inner arms on her back and one of the tattoos she has is of like a little angel and has the date 128 2020 which is the date that she got the uh, people didn't know what it was, but people quickly caught on that it was the death of a child because that symbol is really commonly used in the death of a child. And so people had rumors, but it was never fully confirmed by Danny until an audio was leaked by Virginia. Now, the reason why Virginia leaked this audio was not to expose the fact that Danny had, it was to expose the fact of how Jennifer treats Danny. And I recommend you to go over to at Internet Girls Pod or over to my Instagram stories to check out this audio. But the audio is absolutely awful. The way that Danny's mom talks to Danny, there's quotes in there that should never be spoken to, much less your daughter. And so this audio leaked and as a result, Danny had to come out with her abortion video and talk about the fact of why she got an abortion and why she hit it and talked about Ethan and how he left her to do this on her own and throughout the entire video her mom is filming the whole thing now Danny's mom throws it in her face that she got an abortion and doesn't help her 
Danny's mom wants Danny to defend her in all ends and there are video recordings there's lives where she's like everyone hates me Danny you need to defend me even in that audio itself she victimizes herself and Virginia and Michael West have both testified to this or talked about this so let's talk about some of Jen's red flags and abuse trajectories they currently have 30 cps cases against them according to michael west um and weist sorry and it's absolutely horrible by the way to, uh jen also i mean danny also has got that tattoo when she was 14 the one with the angel and then she has a tattoo with mikey she started getting tattoos at 14 years old wild so Danny's mom wants to be a Kardashian. She controls every aspect of Danny, including all of her money. Danny has no idea how much money she makes, and she even talks about this on YouTube. She has no idea how much is going to savings. She has no clue of how that's run. Danny is being physically, mentally, and verbally abused by Danny, allegedly according uh, by Jennifer, according to uh, Virginia and Michael Weiss. Weiss. They both saw it firsthand. Danny knows her real age, but she's terrified to come public with it. Jen, according to Virginia and Michael, they is not uh, is not fit to be a mother. She's calculated. She's accordingly delusional. She is she is manipulative, and she sweets everyone in her life. So kind of how I was talking about Sebastian and all the guys is she buys them things that they want. Allegedly, Mikey Tuo was offered two jet skis and an entire house when he was dating Danny, which is wild that those gifts were given in relationships and this is like where the money is being spent on these things on these trips danny's mom is using danny's money to buy all these things jen also loves chaos she doesn't like her daughter to be happy and that statement when it was said by virginia broke my heart uh danny's mom according to virginia wants her to be un upset she wants their drama because she knows that'll get her daughter's views on the internet and can't understand why Danny is happy all the time. Bang Deal allegedly pays Danielle $46,000 a week and Danny has no idea where that money is going. Jen lives in Felth. So this was kind of talked about when they lived in their original apartment, it was filled with animal feces, animal stuff all over and they would never clean it up and they continue to live this way. If you go check out the documentary that Michael Weiss did on the family, there's a portion in there where they are refusing to clean up dog poop from the floor and they don't want to and that Danny doesn't want to clean it up her mom like rubs it in her face it's kind of a gross little thing jen is also creepy with the men and the boys uh virginia claims that she's in love with like mikey but she's also made creepy comments about ethan bryce hall taylor holder mikey just creepy comments hitting on them and like just gross Jen also lives through her daughter and this is why they th people think that she buys the men all these gifts is because she's living through her daughter wants her daughter to do this and mind you she had a kid at a very young age and she wants Danny to not go through the same thing but wants her to be rich wants to have all the money and she encourages her daughter to sleep in the master bedroom she lets her and the boys sleep out there they close the door she doesn't care at all she lets her daughter do whatever she wants absolutely she encouraged her to get veneers by like 10 years old and encourages her to get the fake nails, the tattoos, so that she looks older than she actually is. Um, she started telling her daughter to date at 10 years old. Date boys. Jen is absolutely, I believe, not fit to be a mother because who, what, who a mother lets all these things happen. But CPS, sadly, will not do anything. And when researching this video there was so much sadness and so much manipulation it's obvious that danny doesn't know any better she doesn't know that these guys are much older than her and that's going to hurt her in the future and sadly in my opinion i think this is causing a lot of damage to her mental health and she is not getting the support she needs at home i want to know what your guys' thoughts are on the situation i don't want any hateful comments i know that there's been some scandals with danny but when you become isolated from the entire world at such a young age and you have the entire back on your shoulder, it makes you understand it from a different perspective. That doesn't excuse her certain behavior in certain situations, but it makes it more understandable where she's coming from. Um, 
I want to know what you guys think though. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. You should go check out all, all my other social media and let me know who you want an in-depth dive on next. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching.